प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड वॉच थैंक यू वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन सो अस्पेरिकल गैस कंटेनर हैविंग एन आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ फाइव मीटर एंड वॉल थिकनेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर मिलीमीटर इज मेड अप ऑफ स्टील फॉर विच ई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड गै का पास कल एंड नू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू नाइन नोइंग दैट द गेज प्रेशर इन द कंटेनर इज इंक्रीज फ्राम जीरो टू वन पॉइंट एट मेगा पासकल सो डिटरमाइन मैक्सिम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन द कंटेनर एंड बी पार्ट इज करस्पॉन्डिंग इंक्रीज इन द डायमीटर ऑफ द कंटेनर सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्राम द गिवन डेटा इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव स्फेरिकल गैस कंटेनर and that container is made up of steel the material is steel its outer diameter which is equal to d not is given as 5 meter the thickness of wall thickness is 24 mm and this 24 mm is equal to 0.024 meter e is given so e is 200 kilopascal which is equal to 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal clear poisson ratio nu is 0.29 and given that gauge pressure in the container is increased from 0 to 1.8 mega pascal so gauge pressure is 1.8 mega pascal and that is 1.8 into 10 to the power 6 pascal so what we have to find in first part we have to find maximum normal stress maximum normal stress which here in case of cylindrical is equal to sigma 1 and sigma 2 and in part b it is given that find increase in diameter of container which is equal to delta b now we have all the data available so we'll start from the solution as we know that uh, internal pressure or gauge pressure is given as 1.8 mega pascal which is 1.8 into 10 to the power 6 pascal also the outer diameter is given which is d not clear and if you draw it if i draw it this is the pressure vessel and this is the thickness this is the center so r not will be the outer radius which will be equal to 1 over 2 d not clear and r i will be this is the inner radius so r i r r is equal to Or not minus thickness of this, which is this. So R will be equal to R not minus T, and R not is equal to one over D. So one over two and D not is five minus thickness T is equal to zero point zero two four. So from this we will get the inner radius, which is equal to two point four seven six meter. Okay, so we have to find sigma one and sigma two, which is the maximum normal stresses here. And for spherical container, for spherical container, we know that sigma one is equal to sigma two, and that is equal to P into R divided by 2t clear so we have p p is 1.8 into 10 to the power 6 pascal we have r which is equal to 2.476 divided by 2 into t is 0.024 meter so when you solve this you will get the sigma 1 and sigma 2 which is the maximum normal stress and that will be 92. Eight five zero mega pascal. 
so this is the answer of our first part now we will move toward the second part and in second part we have been asked to find increase in diameter which is again change in length so as we know that strain is equal to change in diameter here it is in diameter divided by original diameter we have original diameter we do not have strain so for bi-directional loading bi-directional loading we know that the strain is equal to which is epsilon 1 and that is equal to 1 over e into uh, sigma 1 minus mu into sigma 2 as sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 so you can replace either sigma 1 with sigma 2 or sigma 2 with sigma 1 i will replace sigma 2 is equal to sigma 1 so in that case epsilon 1 will be equal to 1 minus e into sigma 1 minus mu times sigma 1 and if you take sigma 1 as common so sigma 1 over e into 1 minus mu now you have the value of sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 1 mu and e you can calculate epsilon 1 so 1 over e uh, sigma is equal to 92.85 megapascal so 92.85 into 10 is to power 6 divided by nu e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 is to power 9 into 1 minus nu which is 0 0.29 so from here you will get epsilon 1 will be equal to 329 into 0 0.6 into 10 is to power minus 6 then now you have epsilon 1 or epsilon you can put it in this formula so we will see that change in diameter is equal to epsilon 1 into d naught so epsilon 1 is 329 into 0 0.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 and d naught is original diameter is 5 so when you multiply it you will get 1.648 millimeter delta d is this when you will multiply it it will be in term of 0, 0.00 something there when you change it it will give you 1.648 millimeter and this is the answer of our second part and this is the answer of our first part a there and this is the answer of second part i hope you have enjoyed the video and with this you have also learned such type of program related to spherical gas container thank you for watching